Hi, I'm Backwater Jay. Um, this is a update to my Starry Night Strat uh, project, uh, which is uh, my latest mutation that I'm working on, um, or rather one of my older ones that I am going to continue working on. Uh, but basically, I thought I would do an unboxing episode because uh, those are a thing that YouTubers do, and um, you know, lots of famous YouTubers who I can't think of their names right now do these things. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what I'm going to be trying to cram into this Stratic after. First off, we have this little package here. This is a little teaser here. A couple little fairly standard push-pull pots. These are double-pull, double-throw push-pull pots. So it looks like I got a little music lily pick in there as well. Nice little extra. Go with all those other picks I'll never use because I always use the triangles. Uh, but these will be going in the guitar, or run, one of these will be going in the guitar. The other one I just got as a spare because it was cheaper to buy two. Uh, so next we're going to pop this open. Now, nah. nah. we're going to save that one for last. We're going to pop this one open here first. This is a uh, something that I was uh, turned on to uh, through Joe, Joe Gore's channel over Feed. If you have not yet, I encourage you to check him out. There's some fantastic uh, guitar playing as well as guitar modifications. Um, purchase here. But this is um, a product that was put out in association with the Fishman Fluid System, uh, which is a new active pickup design. However, I will not be using their pickups. This is a battery pack. Uh, that is designed to replace uh, the standard battery pack on the back of a Stratocaster style guitar. You can see it's got the space for the strings here, it's got the screw holes, so it is. this is just literally a retrofit for your existing Stratocaster. Uh, it will recharge using a USB cable, which I'm hoping is included here. Let's find out. Yes, it looks like we do have, um, as well as some documentation here, we have our USB cable, uh, which um, is a standard USB, it's not the mini. Um, and it, that is a USB B, I believe, on the other end. They're the trapezoidal ones. We also have our um, cable, which will clip onto this one. I actually quite like this design because uh, you can actually remove this with a minimum of hassle and still have your wiring intact on the inside of the cavity. Um, and it gives you a good, good amount of wire to play with. This is the first time I've opened one of these. I'm fairly impressed. Um, you're supposed to get a, a, something like nine hours of battery life out of a single charge on this. Um, obviously I've yet to test, test that out, but I'm pretty excited to do so. Uh, and then looks like we have a, I guess this, this is, yes, this is a wall wart um, to hook up to your USB plug so that you can just plug it directly into a socket. Um, so that's, that's fun. We're going to be using this. Now to pop open the next thing and final thing, aside from there are, um, there is one uh, stack pot and knobs that I didn't really feel like waiting for because it's you've seen one stack pot, you've seen them all, right? This, the, however, is the um, Graftech Ghost uh, Acoustophonic uh, Preamp, uh, which I was telling you in the last video about the acoustic uh, ghost saddles that I have in there that I'm actually fairly impressed with the sound without a preamp. So I'm curious as to what this will do and um, how large. You can see um, from your little foil packet here, looks like we're dealing with something that is about an inch wide and something like, oh, from the feel of it, not very wide, maybe an inch and a half long. Uh, it's got a output jack that comes with it. It's got a battery holder, which I will not be using for obvious reasons. Um, and it has some general purpose hookup wire, which we'll figure out what to do with later. Uh, it also comes with a pretty substantial user's guide. Uh, so if you need, you know, tips and tricks to how to hook this thing up, which I'm sure that I'm going to take advantage of either via here or probably via their website because I don't like reading tiny books. Uh, but it's nice that they put that in there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing video. Um, I will be, um, trying to, within the next week or two, um, get some actual work done on this guitar and put that content out for you as well. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever. We'll see you next time.